One of the properties that all solutions have is a lower freezing point than the pure solvent. The freezing point is the temperature at which a liquid starts to freeze when you cool it down. The melting point is the temperature at which a solid starts to melt when you warm it up. It's important to know that the freezing point and the melting point are the same temperature. Let's say we have some solid ice at minus 10 degrees Celsius. When it's warmed up to zero degrees, the ice will start to melt. So the melting point is the temperature where a solid starts to melt when it's warmed up. Zero degrees Celsius is the melting point of ice, or solid water. If we keep on adding heat and the temperature goes above the melting point, say to plus 10 degrees Celsius, the ice will completely melt when given time. Now we'll go the opposite way, we'll cool this water down. Once we reach zero degrees Celsius, the water will start to form a layer of ice on top, just like puddles freeze over in the winter time. The temperature at which a liquid starts to freeze when cooling down is called its freezing point. The freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius, the same temperature as its melting point. If we cool it down below its freezing point, say to minus 10 degrees Celsius, and give it enough time, the water will freeze completely into a solid. Let's see how adding a solute to water affects its freezing point. Any solute will do, but here we'll try salt. We'll start with two containers of pure tap water. We've labeled the right container as salt water. We'll take the thermometer out and we'll add one, two, and three spoons of salt and stir the solution to dissolve it. After stirring for a while, there was a little bit of undissolved salt left on the bottom, so we'll keep on stirring it until it's all dissolved. After that, we'll put a thermometer back in the salt water container and put both containers into a deep freeze for a few hours. Now we'll examine the pure tap water that was left in the freezer and brought down to a temperature of minus four degrees Celsius. Notice that this water is frozen solid. The thermometer is stuck right in the ice and will not come out. We can pick up the whole container by lifting the thermometer up. Remember the freezing point of pure tap water is zero degrees Celsius. So four degrees below that at minus four degrees Celsius, all of the tap water has been completely frozen into ice. Now we'll examine the salt water, which was also brought down to minus four degrees, four degrees below the freezing point of pure water. Notice the salt water did not freeze at all at minus four. It is still completely liquid. The cloudiness is caused by the condensation forming on the outside of the cold container. Salt water would need to get colder than minus four degrees Celsius in order to freeze. The concentration of salt would determine how much the freezing point is lowered and how cold it would need to get in order to freeze. So we can say that adding salt to water to make a solution lowers its freezing point. This property of solutions has many practical applications in the real world. Winter roads can get slippery and dangerous due to ice forming when the temperature gets below zero degrees Celsius. Salt is sometimes dumped on icy roads. The salt gradually melts ice and dissolves into the water from the melted ice. This solution has a lower freezing point than zero degrees Celsius, so it will stay liquid even when the temperature is below the freezing point of pure water. Salt and other materials can be made into a solution and sprayed on the highways. It's called the icer. This solution melts any ice and prevents more ice from forming when the temperature drops below zero degrees Celsius. When lots of salt is used in winter roads, the salt water can cause corrosion on vehicles. Salt greatly speeds up the formation of rust on vehicles unless they are very well protected. Runoff from salt used on roads can also affect the environment. Something called antifreeze is poured into car radiators in the wintertime. Antifreeze is a solution of ethylene glycol in water. 
Antifreeze is a solution which lowers the freezing point in the water that circulates around automobile engines. If pure water was used in the cooling system, it would freeze at cold temperatures when the vehicle isn't running. When water freezes and forms ice, it expands with so much force that it could crack the engine block. Salt water would also lower the freezing point, but it is not used in vehicles because it would cause too much corrosion. Antifreeze is non-corrosive. Antifreeze is colored fluorescent green, so it is very visible and any leaks can be easily detected. When using antifreeze, we must be very careful to clean up any spills. It tastes sweet and animals like to drink it. However, it is very toxic and can cause pets to die. By the way, this picture was taken just to emphasize the danger. The liquid in the photo is not real antifreeze and the cat was not actually harmed. However, if this was real antifreeze, the cat could die from drinking it. Airplanes must be sprayed with de-icing fluid in the wintertime to lower the freezing point. If ice was allowed to form in the wings, the plane would not fly properly and could crash. De-icing fluid for planes often contains propylene glycol, which is less toxic than ethylene glycol. At some airports, efforts are made to recycle the de-icing fluid so it does not get into the environment. Ice cream can contain a type of antifreeze to prevent ice crystals from forming in it. An additive called propylene glycol is often used for this. Read the label on ice cream and see if you can find this substance in the list of ingredients. Windshield washing fluid is used in vehicles. It can be sprayed on the windshield even in cold weather and does not freeze. It contains a type of solute which lowers its freezing point. This type of windshield washer will work to temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. Some animals have solutes in their blood which lower the freezing point. For example, wood frogs can stay alive during cold winters because they have a substance called urea which is concentrated in their blood. And lots of the glycogen stored in their liver is converted to glucose in their blood. Urea and glucose are both solutes, which lower the freezing point of the frog's blood. It should be noted that adding any solute to a solution will lower its freezing point. That includes the solutes we talked about here, including salt, ethylene glycol, and propylene glycol, two substances that can be used for antifreeze in vehicles or de-icing fluids for planes. Glucose, which is a type of sugar, and urea, but there are many more solutes that would do the same thing. It's also important to know that the more solute that is dissolved in a given volume, the more the freezing point of a solution will be lowered. For example, there's enough solute dissolved in this windshield washer fluid to lower its freezing point to minus 35 degrees Celsius whereas this type has enough solute to lower its freezing point to minus 40 degrees Celsius.